Point from Black Family, Sadat here. Got Brother Harvey from the channel Yo World. Uh, it's called They Want Us to Save Them. And he and I are getting tired of this motherfucking, this sorry ass comic called Bill Maher. He always has the black population's name in their mouth, in his mouth. He's highly anti black, true racist. It's 55 minutes and 44 seconds, y'all. When the whole thing with uh, Hamas, or let me let me phrase this: when the Palestinians and Israelis, when this thing started, I remember just telling you guys in those few videos that I was doing. I said, "It's best not. We best not get involved in this fight." Because both sides, at some point, have done us dirty and still do us dirty. Whether it be over there or whether they come here. But you had the Jewish community basically telling black people, you better stand with us. We ain't going to forget. You had the Palestinian community taking up and putting up images of Malcolm X and uh, 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 George, George Floyd, Floyd and, and Trayvon Martin, Martin and, them and, and stuff and being trying to be manipulative. But when they come to the United States, they don't interact, they don't live in our communities, they don't do anything with us. In fact, they, they get government set aside. Like right now, by these, these illegals are getting, they call them immigrants or uh, asylum seekers. No, it illegals. It's called what it is. Call it runaway spicks. In the black community, a lot of us went to sleep at the wheel. When, and, and for years, groups have been doing this shit. But what happened was, today is different. Everybody has access to the internet. There are people who have got many computers in their pockets, meaning their smartphones. Now, is there a lot of misinformation out there? Yeah, there's still a lot of information out there. And yes, you have to be smart enough and, and wise enough to, to, to feel, be able to filter to BS. And I've said this in many years. <coughs> But when people say that because we don't stand with a group or we're critical of certain things, that we're anti-Semitic or we anti-Asian or we uh, uh, pro this or pro that, it's an insult to us. Now, yes, there's some people out here who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me, but there are a lot of other people who do. Now, now, I've said for many years, ever since I was a kid, 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 you've always heard somebody say something about the Holocaust in the media. You, you can't escape it. it. You've, you've always heard somebody say something about what's going on over in, in Israel and in, 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 in Palestinian. You've always heard it. Ever since I was a little boy. Now, at the age of five, did I understand it? Fuck no. Most kids don't understand politics or life at that point. But by the time you get 10, 11 years old, stuff start to start to form an opinion. Like, okay, this person said all they want is peace. This person said they want peace. Now you got to be able to decipher who's what. But that means you got to pick a book. You got to listen very well when they explain. Now, for 75 years, the United States and other so-called European countries have said Israel is an ally. That's all we've heard. But, but we also heard the people say, hey, Israel ain't, ain't, ain't the people, who, the, the Israeli government ain't angels. And remember, and there's some members of the Jewish community ain't is all, is, is not always your friend. All of the stories that they put out there ain't always true. And, if, and people think that we don't have our experiences, that we don't have eyes and ears. I, I, I remember going to public school dealing with white teachers and some of them were Jewish and it was it was condescending, it was rude and arrogant. And if a, if a black kid show any in any sense they, they got any common sense or they followed their parents' rules and did what their parents told them, you was perceived as a threat. Now we've all had those experiences as black people. But we're we're told by our parents, by our grandparents, us uncles, don't say nothing. Because, because when they get together and they want to go after you, they go after you. They don't let up. 
because they do have influence. That's not being anti-Semitic. That's not a trope. They have influence. Let's just keep it real. Every since I was a kid, every time you saw something on TV, the Jewish community had a voice. If you said something they didn't like, they went after you and they didn't stop. Abe Foxman, y'all remember, remember him was built with ADL back in the day. The shit that came out of his mouth that somehow people, we all seem to get. There's probably Jewish men and women who said some pretty disgusting things over the years. But the thing is, because we've been so punked into being accused of being anti-Jewish, if you call anything out, you don't say nothing. And, and then, and, and, and the thing is, and whether you like it or not, you got to give you credit, they stay on point. They don't let anybody criticize them for anything, but we do. We let, we let, in our community, we, we let, we let people in our community get away with it. We don't, we don't ostracize them. We don't call them out. We don't make life difficult for them. That's why other groups are able to infiltrate us and manipulate us. Now, before anybody goes, and I've said this many, 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 many times, anytime I have this discussion, I make sure I say not all. But actually not all with any subject I'm talking about. Because I don't want anybody to think they're tired of people are, are out to get the black community. That's because I don't, I would be disingenuous. Because there have been men, women, and children who have stood by us or been friends to our community. But we, but we gotta be honest, there's another, another group of Jewish folk that are anti-black, who have participated in our people pain and suffering. When we talk about the slave trade, they don't want you talking about this, but it's documented. Even other Jewish scholars have talked about the influence of the Jewish community that played in, in, in slavery. Let me give you an example. I know this, people may not say this might be the best example, but let me give you an example of something. If you have a certain name, you know driving driving Miss Daisy, right? Now, you know Miss Daisy in that movie, she was a Jewish woman. Dan Acker played, played Jessica Tandy's son in the movie. They were prominent, a prominent Jewish family, right? In the South. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, didn't Dan Acker own a dealership or something? I can't remember. That's been a while since so I watched it. But I do remember as a kid that that, that, that stood out to me. Because, because I remember, I remember hearing other black folks when I was, when I was a kid, kid saying that in the South there was a lot, there was a group of Jewish folks in the South, South that, that had people working at maids and butlers. They had plantations just like any other white person in, 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 in the South. It's this myth or this lie that they that they've been our, our allies all the way through. We know it, it, it ain't true. I got to look at the entertainment industry when it started and all, and all to this point. Al Joseph was a Jewish man with black, black, black face on. Mommy, mommy, black, he was a Jewish dude. Black face. Lots of Jewish writers in Hollywood wrote the music and shit. Those movies, those kids, I know they, they edit today. You don't see many of those movies aired on local station anymore because everybody wants to start a cable station or whatever but if you do happen to come across some old movies they haven't heavily edited if you see some of those, those dance scenes those scenes of bring bring cries be bread is staring up it's it's painful to watch that's why back in the 80s, this rumor, or I don't know how true it is anymore. Bill Cosby was influential. I'm saying, get that shit off the air. They don't want to see that shit. I remember growing up as a kid watching our little rascals and our gang and seeing those stereotypes. When you're five years old, six years old, six years old you laugh your ass off how to slap stick. But then at some point, you slowly start looking like, wait a minute. And by the time you 11, 12 years old, that shit ain't that funny anymore. Now, as an adult, when I watch this shit, those old clips and shit, this shit I can laugh at, this shit I can cringe. Tell me where a black person has made a move where you show showing Asian, Mexicans, gays, and Jewish people an exaggerated state and a stereotype. It won't happen. But there's countless movies and TV shows, cartoons. 
newscasts that, that present us in particular light. Have y'all ever watched the credits of the news with the names? Have you ever watched the, your, 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 your favorite movie? Who's the producers? Who's the directors? The writers? Have you, when you watch documentaries, do you sit there and say, okay, how, and you ever, or do you ever wonder how many brothers and sisters was involved? Ask yourself, why is it that in Jewish, they got the Jew, museums across the country, for Jewish, the Jewish people, excuse me, that are, are more geared to the Jewish community, why would they want black artifacts and things that relate to black folk and the scenes? There are black museums. It may not be as many as the Jewish museums, but why would they want that shit in their museum? Why is it that back in the late 80s when, when NWA came out and some of the people in the community said, you notice the, the people who are behind changing the face of rap until what we know it is today, they all identified as the Jews. Y'all saw that, that that clip with uh I forget the the, the, the guy the that white guy who was on Breakfast Club and Charlie the God, God Black can't stand was excellent about the, why hip hop is no negative and da da da. Then he was ducking and dying. Charlie is excellent again. He had to admit that he knew what was going on. He's a part of. It. He basically said, "Yeah, we know what it is. We know what we're doing, but yeah, we're the ones supposed to be asking you." I can't, like I said, I can't speak to what goes on in New York, but I know in the 80s, there were a lot of issues with in the 80s with certain members of the Jewish community. There were a lot of things that was going on in New York that was making national news. I can't speak to Los Angeles, but you know, you know, but you know Hollywood. We know for years the studios exploit us and still do. I grew, I grew up in Chicago. I know the history. I know the interactions. It is the West Side of Chicago was predominantly Jewish at a certain point. And then the blacks were able to move around, or the blacks were already there. They was they, they moved further into these, these so called Jewish neighborhoods, Polish neighborhoods, Italian neighborhoods. And they was harassed. But the, but the Jewish community has been our friends so much. When it came time for them to bounce, they bounce. They didn't stick around and say, hey, we, we get with our black brothers and sisters. <laughs> Are we fight the same evil? No. A lot of times when they, they keep doing the civil rights movement and the, the three workers, the three civil rights workers, two of them were Jewish or NWCP. And, and then when you start asking certain questions, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna say, oh, you guys are bad. I do you are gonna have all the answers. I don't understand. My parents were kids on the West Side of Chicago. It's aunts and uncles, cousins. People are now in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You, you, for years, they would say, hey, this is going on this side of town. This was what happened on this side of town. So you see all my family members, <coughs> excuse me, on both sides of the family, neighbors and friends, they've been lying to us all these years. Even though we got eyes and ears, even though ever since I was a kid, you always heard something about the Holocaust, about the Jewish experience. Right now, if you took whether you got direct TV, dish, or you got streaming service, you can find something about the Holocaust, some movie, some documentary talking about it. You can go PBS, some some. some a documentary about the Jewish experience. I remember I'm being I had a YouTube probably about a decade ago. It was about three or four black chumps, but they was out there talking about you know when black people talk about reparations and stuff and what we need. Well, nobody had as rough as the Jewish community, and I remember it's like what. And I don't even remember there was some of them was coming attacking some of us who are still out here on YouTube. Y'all know who y'all are. They were saying that why y'all talking about reparations? We need to get over slavery. Wait a minute, but you telling us to get over get over slavery or get over racism? But you wouldn't then tell somebody, okay, Holocaust at, at that time was uh, what sixty something years ago, seventy something years ago. You wouldn't then tell them to get over. But you're going to tell our people who had language stripped from them, families broken up, 
people, people murdered. murdered. Just, I mean, look, 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 look what happened. Kellen Bryant, Kellen Bryant is, the is the reason why Emmett Till died, died at a young age. All these years, years black folks have been asking for justice. justice. What did what the, what the white folks say? You know, she's Joe. Oh, we found out she was sick. But they still going after Nazis or Nazi sympathizers. In Germany or in Europe, Europe, get caught supporting a Nazi. Get caught caught, caught espousing hatred. Your financial going to fill it. But you, but you can say all kinds of shit to black folk, and we just supposed to accept it. We just supposed to let it go because for so many hundreds of years, people just say, well, don't worry about them. They're yellow, they just take it. Which brings me to Bill Mark. Every week, Bill Mark finds a way to throw shade at the black community. He says something about dealing politics. Politics is about identity. If you sit there and say to a black person that, I mean, I mean uh, when you when you vote, and they say white college uh, votes, or white, or white working class, or the Hispanic community, Asian, that's, that's identity. But y'all, but y'all accuse us of being, I'm talking about, about it. Bill, Bill said, you know, you know the Democrats, they wouldn't dare not put a person of color on it. They mean a black person. Nobody, Nobody never says, says that to the Hispanic community. Nobody, Nobody says, says that to the Asian community. It's always, always directed towards us. us. And the black community have a right to demand shit from the Democratic Party. A lot of these politicians who sit in these, these positions past the present is because we put them there. But now they get on TV by Bill Maher. They say shit on Bill Maher's show. Go on Morning Joe and say something on Morning Joe. They go on Al Sharpton's show and say something. They go on Rachel Maddow and say something. They go to CNN and say something. Then they go to Fox and say something different. Then they get back to us. We here to we here to help you. The job is everything else that everybody else wanted to hear. Bill Maher saying that we need to quit talking about reparations and shit. But yet, my tax dollars, my parents' tax dollars, my grandparents' tax dollars went over to Israel. We had nothing to do with the Holocaust. Black folks did not. Matter of fact, World War Two, when we when we did get involved in World War Two. Fighting the, the Nazis and going against uh, uh, Japan and shit. It was, it was our presence that changed the tide. Let's, Let's just keep it real. And when, and when old black, black men and black men came back, large black, black men, but they were black from the military too. They just had the, the combat position. They came back, black men, was, was, if he was caught in a uniform, whether it be the North or South, they were disrespected or attacked, they were murdered. The Nazis, the Nazis who was, was killing Americans when they was, they was coming back on those trains, trains and shit, those planes, they would fly the first class city to get right next to the American soldiers. Blacks was in segregated trains. So, so when people tell us our history, really? You're going to, we going to pretend like none of this shit happened. Every week, Bill Maher finds somebody to throw shade. Last night, he basically created black folks with Hamas, supporting Hamas, because they they don't they not standing with Israel or go out there with a with a just agreeing everything Israel doing is, is right. First of all, when when October seven happened, it was it was heinous, it was evil. But it was no more evil than any other attack on around the globe with innocent people. Let's let's let's, let's get this straight. The Israelis don't have a lock on sympathy when it comes with other stuff. Because in, in parts of the, the globe where our, where our pe- people look like us, but we have a close genetic connection to, are murdered every day. Nobody bats an eye. And I guess we forget a lot of the shit that, that, that is, Israel, Israel's done. But see, what it is, white folks are supposed to matter more than anybody else on the planet. And this is why this is why you have people targeting them. Let's get something straight. Y'all don't have a mark on the corner of the market on sympathy. But the thing is, Bill Maher and others still, we don't remember you guys. You want us to stand with y'all because y'all got used to using black folks as cannon fodder. Y'all got used to us strengthening your numbers. Y'all got used to the black pastor or the everyday brother. Our brothers and sisters who are doing that, y'all got used to that. 
But what y'all did, what y'all forgot over the years, y'all slowly eroded that friendship or that or that willingness to give the benefit of doubt and say some. Y'all caught, y'all done caught every black person who's prominent has a permanent voice in the media or in the community, an anti Semite at some point. Last year, when they went after Kyrie Irwin, Kanye West, and Dave Chappelle, and the black community, black men in particular, that's what brother said. said, wait a minute, hold on a second. We ain't said nothing anti Jewish. And then the thing with Kanye West, people go back and look at how it started, and what was said, and y'all said, okay. Now, when Kanye West started praising Hitler, I think he did that just to piss him off. And it was obvious, but I told y'all, he was about hope. But what did, what did Ari Emanuel and Jamie Lee Curtis and them say? It don't matter if he got a little issue. But if that's somebody shoot a fucking school, it's mental, it's mental issues. So when anything we do, we just play evil. We just don't know no better. We stupid. All the, all the stupid, stupid blacks, blacks, or as they say, stupid, stupid niggas. Everybody, Everybody else supposed to get the benefit of doubt. Let me remind y'all who had that charge against Bill Cosby, R. R. Kelly, and all these other black, black, black men, men in, the in the last few years. I guess we got the Leah Dunham numbers out there talking all that shit about Bill Cosby and uh, all these other black men. But then you had a black female say, hey, this, this guy, guy who's happy to be friends with you after y'all be and dumb and dumb accuses guy of rape, all of a sudden they're dumb said, you know, 3% you know, of women do lie. Did you just say that about, about these white women whose stories didn't add up and didn't make sense? Just after every time he gave an interview, Bill Cosby, like, why is he had a medal for Bill Cosby? Literally over, and, 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 and so, 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 now as black folk, we're supposed to say, we're going to go stand with a group of people or some people within, within this group. Stand with y'all after y'all routinely attacked us and used us. I mean, y'all have been accused Michael Jackson of being an anti-Semite. Mr. Hill the world, make it a better place. Don't matter if black and white. Michael Jackson, who has who had a number of white friends around him, of, 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 of uh, Asian, Arab, all these different, different groups of people around him. him. He's supposed to be anti something He's supposed to be reverse racist. Rabbi Shuley, a friend of Michael Jackson. Jackson. And even when Michael was alive, he would throw a little shade in there. But when Michael died, he was full anti-Michael. I think Michael is, is doing inappropriate things with children. Da, 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 da. Even though he went to court, it was proven. Even though all these witnesses and stuff, the stuff came out. And if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm if I'm if I could be wrong, what's the identity of the of of, of, the, of the guy who, who when Michael died blew his brains out, who had the son say that Michael did something to him, but the, the, the son said it didn't. You know they never bring that that talk about that. If you go back and look at the people in the media who was attacking Michael Jack, Michael Jackson, you start to see a fucking pattern. Don't, don't even get me started about the Martin did the rap industry, what was going on, who's been behind uh -huh, what. But the thing is, Bill Martin, them have you thinking that the black community and Michael Rappaport, them thinking that we, we because blacks are not standing behind Israel or standing blacks to the Jewish community, that somehow we're anti we're anti Semitic. If y'all haven't been paying attention, there are people in the Jewish community calling out the hypocrisy of the Jewish community. So, so are, you are you saying they self hating Jews? They won't get go there. They won't do it. It's, it's once it's easy to say one or two, but let me say this again. Bill Maher is making it seem like if you don't follow them or let them set the tone, they're somehow stupid. He said, and then all these these college captains, he said, these kids are stupid. No, no, Bill. They, 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 a lot of them are waking up to certain things. Now, those who are out there with anti-Semites, you need to separate that. But this is one of the reasons why I said the black folks shouldn't be involved in this stuff. Because damn if you do, damn if you don't. But a lot of black folks are taking the same thing and getting involved in this. I remember what y'all been saying. See, this is the problem. But you keep picking on people, poking at people. After a while, people are going to get turned out. They're going to get turned They're going to tune out. Let me, Let me say this again. 
bringing up the civil rights workers or bring up NWCP. You keep holding that. Okay, what else you got? What else have y'all done? Remember, I told you, 1966. That's when 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 they said, okay, we don't need y'all. Explain to me why is when uh, uh, Bernie Goldberg or Bernard Goldberg that worked over at CBS began. Uh, he works with Brian Gubble, who's at Real Sports. He's about to go off the air pretty soon. But he was a regular on Bill O'Reilly. He used to say some most racist shit. Now, I don't know if our brothers and sisters, obviously, it wasn't paying attention because if they were, a lot of our brothers and sisters would say, hey, Brian Gubble, yo, man, you got this dude on your show. This dude is fucking racist. He would talk about black people with Bill O'Reilly like, 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 like crazy. If y'all don't believe me, type in Bernard Goldberg on, on Rally talking about whatever black issue. You'd be like, huh? What? He said that? The late cousin, Jackie Mason, when Obama was running, he made it like Obama did something to him personally. He was attacking the black community, putting videos up on YouTube. If y'all remember, if you've been following from my early channel, I was talking about Jackie Mason. I was like, why well, don't nobody call this old dude out? But he's like, oh man. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah but he knew what he was saying. He didn't tackle you no know, racist white politicians. He didn't tackle those out there who said the anti Jewish shit. He tackled Barack Obama. And I got my issues with Obama. Joe Rivers stopped the whole Michelle Obama's tranny gate. Somehow, Bill Maher, because I think his mother is Jewish, his father is Irish, but still. He, 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 Bill Maher got a streak of hatred towards people who identify with moves or people from a particular part of the globe. Everybody, if you criticize, you support the terrorists. That's like me seeing every white person is racist and I know they're not. But it, it kills me watching these different celebrities or these people who call themselves allies or friends of the black community. Y'all, I am slamming the black community. We're going to remember y'all. Really? Y'all really want to go there? This is why some. And, 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 and let me say something. Palestinians, they ain't angels either, as I said in another commentary. You come over to the United States. Y'all already set with apartments. Y'all y'all don't live among us. First, first y'all go to businesses that, that, that exploit the black community. It is liquor, it's something in the drug paraphernalia. Go to go to, go to I mean go, go into their neighborhoods. We go we go in there. They just like you suspicious, like we gonna do something to them. I I go up on the north side and pet go to gas stations. Or, or a complete a 7-Eleven, and, and they be behind and tell me just like we about to do something. And then they got their wives and daughters in there. They think we trying to holler at them like, man, we know that's your wife, we know that's your daughter, we know that's your sister. They think that we're looking at each other to get their pants. We know when y'all talking about us. They got liquor stores, greasy spoons in our neighborhood. They come in to face the builders, knock down builders. And and, and, and and try to sell a free product and then and then no we're talking about the weapons and shit they brought into the community. Oh yeah, we black folks live to that shit. We know what the, the federal and local government has done. We know that the members of the Asian community, the Hispanic community, uh the, the Indian community and the Arab community, they have brought shit vices, these different vices in our community. They want us to stand with them and black folks, we know what they say. Hey, hey man, we we got no dog in this fight. They, they, they pissed off. We're, we're saying, saying yo, yo is you, you can't talk about 14, 12, 12 to 1400 people of your community being murdered or being kidnapped. But you got 10, you got 10,000 or more of these people dead. That number, it don't add up. This is basically, and, 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 and you know what this sound like to black folk? When you, when you talk about the Holocaust versus slavery, Jim Crow today. The numbers, the numbers don't add up. They don't, they don't compare. compare. Both, both are wrong. Both, both are painful. So that's what it sounds like to us. Netanyahu is before this he would say shit about dollars. Then we before this whole thing when Hamas started that video that white where white Jews were saying the problem it would be black the, the, the uh, blacks. I don't see nobody answer for that. Stephen Miller, Jewish. I don't see nobody on TV criticizing him. 
You don't ride the car after Stephen Miller for being Jewish and being so fucking racist. Nope. Y'all saw the other day the video I, I put up about Rabbi Shmuley. Remember, Andrew Breitbart, we rest in hell, was a regular on Bill Barr show to say some of the most racist shit. So, so explain to me, Bill, and those of you who identify as Jewish, why do y'all let those other Jewish men and women get away with saying you're doing the most racist, anti-black thing? Did y'all want us to stand with y'all? Are you kidding me? And the same thing go for the Palestinian community, same thing go for the Asian and gays. Y'all sit back up here and y'all contribute to our community, pain and suffering, or exploit our people. Or, or bully our people to certain beliefs to see the last few years y'all have been people gone too far. And the black community started saying, wait a minute. Like he was trying to talk about why blacks are not supporting Biden, like the dictatorship. Well, there's a reason why. And then everybody danced around it, but let me tell you, Biden won because of the black support. Okay? A lot of, and, and, and a lot of people voted for Biden, not because he promised to come in and save black America. There were certain things that black America asked him to do, and he said he would do. Okay? A lot of us know how politics work. Pandemic was going on. Trump and them was making sure that those who had money and influence was getting them treatment, and they was playing on the black community. So they talk about the shots, how they was vilifying people, making fun of black celebrities or blacks who believe it. You have to forget that we have a history. This is why with that whole pandemic thing, I never criticized anybody. So I understand why our people in our community was hesitant. Because we've been made to be guinea pigs and we've been denied certain health, 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 health treatments and shit. But I digress. But the thing is, during the whole thing, we remember what happened to Colin Kaepernick. Donald Trump went out there, they still the NFL, go ahead and be racist, told the fans, it's okay to be racist. What was these other groups, these other other so-called allies that called that shit out? It was silent. But yet, y'all want us to stand with y'all. Y'all want us to, to be on the front lines, so and y'all got used to us doing that. But as I said before, Last year, in the in recent years, they kept poking and poking. I had predicted this was going to happen. I said, they're going to keep poking and poking. The black community going to shut down. They're going to say, since you say we these things, you go, you go fight your own battle. And this is the problem with the black community. We put on the cake for so long, people expect us to do it. This is why they keep around. You know, Michael Rapport and never say, hey, the Asian want to stand with us. Jew and gay crew, why don't you stand with us? They keep going to the black community because they know how they've used us to be on the front lines. We'll put the niggas out front. Let them take the slingers and arrows of the world. Y'all call every well-known black person at some point an anti-Semite. The last year, y'all went too far. Y'all went out to cut you. You know the brother's bipolar. But, but at the same time, y'all don't want to acknowledge when he says interactions with those he had business dealing with. Okay. okay. Then y'all was out there monitoring uh, uh, Kyrie Irving because he said something about a document. He never said said that he was this and he believed it. He said this is an interesting doc, doc, uh, documentary. There are a lot of documentaries I've seen on TV that don't get shit right or twist facts. But I still watch it because you need to know what's being put out there with kind of destroying the images. Then Dave Chappelle came out there and made a joke that he was actually throwing more shade than anybody. If you go back and listen closely, but because he didn't come out and go directly after Kanye and Kyrie or chastise the black community, he, like Van Jones tried to throw us under the bus. And uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh I forget the, the uh, forget a uh, Goldie Taylor. Bully Taylor tried to make and Van Joe tried to make like black men and what and what did they do in the black community? You got to enter some type of black men, really? And what and, and what did we say? Oh, we're, oh y'all, we keep saying we're ex semis. We're not out there with teaching towards it. Jews will now replace us. Black folks have never done that. I've had I've had, I've had conversations with adult black men and black women. But I say, you know, we never use no slurs. This is what slurs. I said, you kidding me? You never heard of slurs that they use against Jewish folk? 
And they, they, they look, I'm, I'm like, wow. wow. You don't, you don't, don't hear no black person using any slurs to describe a Jewish person. Even, even if you, if you're a black person, person you know it, you never we never use it. Because, because we respect your communities. We respect, we respect your, 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 your pain and suffering. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you guys don't know the word I'm talking about, it's, it's kite. But Jay can use, put, tell us why to say nigga in every rap song or movie. Say nigga, my nigga, nigga. They got to the point they even used their rationale back in NWA that was being criticized for using that word. What did what the, 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 the managers and those, those, those uh, records that say? Freedom of speech. You're taking the power away from the word. And you have people like Whoopi Goldberg and them rationalize why they use it. Even Richard, Richard Pryor stopped using that shit back in the early 80s. Everybody that claimed they love Richard Pryor, this is how you can test them. What did Richard Pryor say about the word nigga why he stopped using it? Well, Richard Pryor was dead. No, no, no. Richard Pryor was an African. He was confronted by one of our African. He said, why do you call yourself such a nigga? I'm paraphrasing, but the thing is, Richard Pryor stopped that. But you got people talking about Richard Pryor back in the day, because the way he said, yo, nigga, this is blah, blah, blah. And today, I see black celebrities doing it. Now, it ain't just black doing it. You got other people doing it. I've been out in public with people calling me, and I guarantee you, all the Jewish kids listen to rap, they be rapping, nigga. But I ain't never heard no rapper say kike. Hell, go, go sit coffee, use the word fag, and see how far you go now. That's like saying the N word. No, it's not. But you say it offends you. Okay, fine. But a fag used to be referred to a cigarette. How many of y'all know that? Labels change the shit, but nigga is universal. As soccer games, it calls monkeys, I call you niggas. I watch this shit. I mean, I mean, from a little boy to a man, that's, I've heard, I remember the first time I heard it, I remember the most recent, the most recent was just two weeks ago, a white lady had a nerd to call me a nigger, and she knew that I couldn't do anything if I wanted to, first of all, she's white, in the suburb, she felt, and she didn't, and it wasn't with the, it with the, the, the nigger, so it was nigger, and you knew how she meant. So, so for anybody outside the black community to tell us that we need to stand with them or else we're going to remember you, really? Black folks got a long memory too now. Let me say this again. They insist, they insist black folk who've called out them. Oh, we can't have that rhetoric on TV. It's like Jake Tapper. When they was going to play Farrakhan's one of his sermons, Jake Tapper never worked at Fox. He works on that CNN. He was vocal about it. Remember, they stopped going out to Farrakhan, and Farrakhan didn't even say nothing about nobody. Then they go out to YouTube and the other platform was full of media. I'm like, y'all trying to create a boogeyman, but the people that actually fuck with y'all, that want to do harm to y'all, y'all don't fuck with them. Then y'all, now y'all say anti Semitism on the right. No, criticism of the Jewish community has started start to show up. Because people start, hey, wait a minute. Now, now, does that mean you're indicting an entire group of people? No. But, but the thing is, for such a long time, the Jewish community was able to say, hey, the Holocaust, anti Semitism, or you don't support Israel, you're anti Jewish, and people got spooked. Because the Jewish community, those who have influence and money, they made sure they made people's lives miserable. The last few years, members of the Jewish community have shown the natural ass toward the black community. And black folks said enough is enough. This is why you see so many of us saying, we ain't got no dog in this fight. We ain't going to put our stuff out there like that. Now, those brothers and sisters who do, stupid. When you sit there and say, we support Black Lives Matter, but what other things that you support besides Black Lives Matter. I keep telling y'all, they wasn't supporting Black Lives Matter or George Floyd. It was a pandemic going on. And they wanted to get out the fucking house because the, the year after George Floyd murdered, it was crickets. This year, crickets. 
You know, you got some idiots out there reciting the logins when he wrote out and saying things as criticism. But there are is to be some truth in some things, like I like 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 when people give criticism of the black community. There's some things that we do in the black community that is that we can't explain. We can't rationalize away. But we're always judged. We always be picked on. Pick, 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 judge, judge, judge. judge. And the thing is, the very people who don't like to be judged, they can, well, we can tell you about the black community. We can write a book, blah, blah, blah. We don't mark that. Bevin Rashawn on his show talking about black folk. How many times have I sat back and watched these talk shows or these shows, these chat shows, where you got white men and white women or other minorities, so called minorities, talking about us, but then when something happens to them, you support us. Are you fucking crazy? Bill Mark is a racist. Bill, and people say, we like black women. Let me be vulgar for a sec. When you fuss in the nut, you don't care what skin tone that, that female is. Or that man is. Let's just keep it real. I, when, I, when I'm having sex, I ain't thinking about world politics. I'm thinking about my orgasm. And this proves something that we've been saying for years. White men, they love black women. They love them. Forget to get turn around and, and blow, blow your, your brains, brains out or hang you from trees. trees. There's a, There's a young, young poor act named Tiana Trump. Trump. Excuse, Excuse me. me. And she, she accidentally revealed that she went to, she, she, she screwed Bill Mark. Now, now I, I, think I think she got to be about 26, 26, 27 at this point. But well, a few years back, she was doing an interview and she went out and she got, and everybody knows that Bill and Mark mess with black women. And that's, and that's why Bill Murphy can say these shit he says. Well, you know, I've been I've been to some black clubs, so I can say what I want to say. I mean, I mean, every week he makes a reference. Last night he made a reference to Michael Jordan about about who to support and what what Republicans about to give shoes to. Michael cleaned out back in the day. And he thinks around. He threw a shade of Kanye, Kanye the Nazis, trying to make it like. Black, black folks support Nazis. Ain't nobody, Ain't nobody stupid. stupid. Every, Every week, this dude finds a way to throw shade at the community and make it seem like black, black folk have betrayed the Jewish community. What have y'all done for us? Seriously. Help found the NWCP. Okay, and what, and what other things that y'all have done to advance our community? Y'all y'all really gave a damn. Why aren't y'all going business with black folks instead of explaining black folk? If you go back and look at all the well known black artists, who, who, who exploited them? I'm just putting it out there. With these things we're not supposed to talk about. See, last year when, when, when certain members of the Jewish community and the media decided they wanted to vote by the black community, a lot of brothers and sisters start asking certain questions. I had acquaintances that ask me questions. We have these, we have these not really intense discussions. We say they keep accusing of anti Semitism, but what have we said and done as anti Semitic? And I'm telling them, I was like, point out. Well, they said this is a trope. Okay. What, what, what? The Jewish people have, have are, 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 are more influential in the financial market. That's not a trope. Did we just see that dude with Bitcoin? Isn't he the one that just got found guilty of Jewish? One of the burning men off Jewish. I mean, you see these patterns here, but we ain't supposed to point out the obvious. Sarah Silver and have all made anti black jokes at some point. But yeah, y'all want us to stand with y'all. Yeah, y'all turn around and talk to black like little kids like we're stupid. Bill Mark, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't understand the Middle East. Really? really? That's what you think? You don't understand? Okay, okay fine. See, See, that's that arrogance. That's that sense of arrogance. Like I said, by the time I was 12 years old, I pretty much had a good idea what was going on. You had people that claimed it was their ancestral homeland. You got another group that says theirs. You got that, that group being squeezed out of what the area that they was in over the last seven some years. And But the thing is, both groups are not Data of that area, but okay, fine. And, and just back and forth for years, back and forth, back and forth, killings on both sides. 
but at the same time, time if both sides are shitting on anybody who look like you and I being black, whether they, they come over here to the United States, States do it, over there doing it in the so-called Middle East. And y'all don't think people are going to start saying, wait a minute. But I mean, it's very arrogant to sit there and think that because we ain't standing locked up behind Israel or to don't know what they're doing, that somehow we're pro Palestinian or pro Hamas. No, right is right, wrong is wrong. Black folks do not recognize when somebody's being misused or mistreated. Remember, Remember, we still getting victimized in this country. And Bill, my life, he, 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 they say this country is so terrible. Blah blah blah. You're, you're, you're a white man. man. You ain't, you ain't Bill Martin never experienced what I or my sister siblings have experienced, or my my late parents, or my late grandparents, or my aunts and uncles and cousins of other black people experienced. You can't compare our experience. Bill Martin would never know what it's like to drive through a neighborhood and you know the cops are running your license plate. Well, they, they pull you on. You know it. Or you, or you get caught over for no fucking reason. Bill, Bill will, will never know what it's like for cops to put guns in your head and threaten to kill you, and you think that's your last moment on earth. How many videos did we see within the last few years of police officers getting caught on camera shooting black people to death and nothing happened to them? So, Bill, you can't compare your fight to ours. See, he's a white man. He thinks as a white man. He's a rich white dude that befriended black folks. To me. He hung around a bunch of black folks. The white folks was here in Bill Maher like that. He was that white dude. He used to be around black folks. Then after a while, he would use that. I know Snoop Dogg. I know this. I know Kid Reef and Kid and Blake. You know, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I know this person. I know this person. He used to name drop black folk back in the day. But then after a while, when Bob went in the office and Bob didn't go on his show, he kept bitching. I gave a million dollars to this campaign. He can't come on my show now once. They sound like a slave master. Nigga, you know what I did for you? Then he got caught making these jokes. And Ice Cube says, I knew you going to slip up. He made a nigga joke. He said, nigga, please. Let me have said kite, please. I don't think Bill Barnes that would be so laugh. Oh, it's just a joke. Every week, this bastard sits back and throws shade at the black community or some black person. Black men in the tick. But then gets mad because black folks are, 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 are not standing in lockstep with them. And like, black folks, we ain't stupid. But I told, but I told you last year, you they went after, after, after certain, certain people or the, or the community as a whole, black men in particular. Black folks say, okay, there's no one no. But you got people in their own, his own community who are saying, yo, man, y'all y'all want our sympathy, but this, we can't, how can we justify what you guys are doing? And then they love throwing that Nazi thing out towards us. They don't do that. Nobody else. But the, they, you, you accuse black folks of Nazism, supporting Nazis. That's, that's what they saying. And you guys, and the thing is, people said we got eyes and ears. Michael Rappaport went on how many rants about the black community? Amy Schumann, the, and then you go pull out Dr. King. And I find it funny that how many times over the years Yolanda King had to call out people about using, twisting her father words and, and messages. They don't, they don't respect, they can't even love, love Dr. King. They don't respect the fact that he did his whole quote or, or, or leave, him, leave his, his legacy alone. Now they ain't got slick. They start using Malcolm X. I could have sworn for years. Y'all call Malcolm X an anti Semite. But in recent years, because there are people like me, you and I out here, who the Bill Maher claim that we are uneducated, playing out shit that everybody else. Should have picked up on what they knew. They were just hoping we would we wouldn't see it. For years, Mike Wiles and them over at sixty minutes tried to infer that Farrakhan had some new about the next murder. And I have been saying since high school, said, it, don't, it don't make sense. All the eyes and ears of the federal government on the nation of Islam, if they had that little nugget, you don't think they would have used that to destroy the nation of Islam? 
You don't, you don't think they were, if they, they had, you, they, 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 they had that kind of dirt on Farrakhan, he would have been arrested already. But see, but see we've been conditioned to, to believe the worst in, uh, in, in us. No, but now they realize, uh oh, they figured out who killed Uh oh, they figured out who's involved. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. See, see, they figured you ain't got a PhD or a law degree or you're not starting some think tank, you don't know what's going on with the world. But if you look back at it, the black community has been on point warning other people about what's, what's about to go down. Like everybody was shocked about 9-11. Yeah, we were shocked they used airplanes and crashed the buildings and shit. We wasn't shocked that that the people that y'all figured they were to replace us or y'all was more accepting of, y'all was willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. They turned on you. Black folks for years said, hey, you only listen. We could have told you it was going to happen. Oh, wow. A lot of blacks in 9 11, like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was sad. sad. We were worried. But we, but we wasn't too worried. worried. All the terrorism. We deal with terrorism every day of our lives. Within the community and outside the community. And unfortunately, within the community, it's been created because of black opportunities, miseducation, or special images that have been presented. But who's been a part of that shit? And then y'all want to stand with y'all. The reason why Biden was losing black vote, when the Susan came in office, we said an Asian hate crime law. Y'all came and do that criminal justice reform for the black community with people being shot down, be, people they going to homes, raiding the wrong house, killing innocent people. This, this, that's the reason why 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 the Democrats are are are, are going to struggle or maybe lose. They got y'all. Well. It's by a gate. You got a bunch of old white dudes in power. Congress said, old white women. Diane Feinstein, she died in office. This is uh, the Supreme Court uh, justice that recently died. She died on the Supreme Court. But somehow, y'all don't want to find a way to put, put them on black folk. We you know blacks are fucking. Trump. No, they not. But see, but see you got people like Bill Maher who thinks he's smart. He knows more about black folk and how we think. How you, you didn't fuck with a few sisters. And all around some weed head Negroes. Come on, man. But but the thing is, is that, that people like Bill Maher and them, they, they, the more they open their mouth and keep talking shit. You're proving everything that everybody said was on point. Like I said, I, I tell you anybody, step back and observe. Let them keep, keep talking. They're going to keep talking and talking and talking. And what's going to happen is people going to start saying, hey, wait a minute. Like I said, I don't talk about absolutes. It's not being everybody who is who identifies Jewish as evil or anti-black. No, of course not. I'm not stupid. But, but I can go about my experiences. I can go about what, what, what I've heard, what I've seen. And I can go about history. But last year, not ridiculous, way last year, this time I said, y'all gonna keep poking and poking and poking. And y'all gonna grow with any support. Or people wouldn't give y'all the benefits. Now, now brothers and sisters, if you got nothing to do with us, and y'all mad because y'all used to be able to go and talk us into standing with y'all. And we're like, what did we get out of? Nothing. Last year, that Highland Park shoot went down. And I told people, I said, you know, Highland Park is a predominantly Jewish community. It is, you got black mothers and fathers that lost children to violence. They didn't say, let's go work with our black friends on the west and south side. Let's join force, let's get together and change the laws. Nope. They went to Washington, D.C. to talk to everybody else. And some, and some people have been calling it out like, hey, hey man, you know, why are you, you guys only focused on this community or this event? event? And it goes back to what I said. When they all ran from the west side out to the suburbs, if they was truly down with the black community, there's so many people like Bill Martin say to y'all, then I, the whole dynamic of the black community would be totally different. All you have to do is ask them what they think about reparations and you get your answer. Like I, like I said, said they've, they've been, been so used to pumping us out and we going out there putting on the cake 
and stand in front of front of front in front of them and speaking up and they reap the benefits of it. That's not being anti Semitic. And that's the same thing for other communities. Other communities have learned that to do that. The gay community, they look how they look how they put the black men on the bus. The black community is most homophobic. But yeah, have you, I said, have you, been, have you been in the black community? Have you been to a black church? Same thing with Hispanic. All these different groups have, have benefited from our pain and suffering. They benefited from us standing with them, getting turn around and give us the middle finger. And then tell us we don't remember this. Remember what? But every week, Bill Maher got some anti black to say, but last night he basically claimed black people not standing all the way with Israel being or saying something about ceasefire and saying that black folks are terror sympathized. He basically called black people terrorists. And I told y'all, these people said this before. He said it last night. And those of y'all watching, I know y'all heard it when he said it. Because the audience didn't respond, it got like a pin drop. But, but like I said, every week he sh he still shows it. Every week he shows it. So so the next time somebody say that hey, this is allyship, stop putting out the different names in people in politics and entertainment industry over the years or big business who've gotten caught saying some text black and say how are we supposed to be friends, how are we supposed to stand with y'all when y'all cousin insulting us. Brother Harvey, that was some great content right there. HBO, I think it's time to cancel Bill Maher before the black population starts dropping HBO, as I'm about to do right now. <laughs>